welcome to my new Zoom H1 digital recorder. I was going to make a video for you this evening, and I actually started working on it, and then the battery of my camera ran out, and I had a bunch of technical difficulties dealing with lighting. So I decided that this evening I would instead create for you some audio with my new recorder. This one probably isn't going to be very long. I'm just going to do some journaling this evening. It's something I work on from time to time. I should do it more often. I should actually journal every day. I think it really helps a lot to get your head cleared out before you go to bed at night. So this evening I'm just working on journaling about things that I liked about today. You could say it's similar to a gratitude journal, but not entirely. Because the things I liked about today aren't necessarily things that I'm grateful for. They're just things I liked. I used to do a gratitude journal, but I always found it a big chore to come up with a list of things that I was grateful for. I always felt gratitude seems like such a heavy word that it always seemed like I needed big things to be grateful for. But now instead, ever since I discovered the concept of just journaling about things that I liked about today, which I got from a book called Ask and It is Given by Esther Hicks, I find it much easier to continue this process. I can often fill up a couple of pages just of things that I liked about today because even the simple, small things count. For example, getting up on just before my alarm clock goes off in the morning so I don't have to hear that horrible noise. I can actually get out of bed and turn it off. Or being, having a good hair day. <laughs> Just little things like catching most of the green lights on the way to work. Those are all things that I would put on my list of things I liked about today. But I would probably never put on a list of things I'm grateful for because they just seem too insignificant. But I think when you start to add things up, you realize even on a bad day, there's lots of things that you like to small little things, and once you sort of do an accounting of them, it can change your frame of mind about how your day went, and maybe, uh, even more importantly, change how tomorrow is going to go for you. So that's, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm also doing, I'm also going to be journaling some things about wouldn't it be nice if it's another process that I got from the book Ask and it is given. There's a whole bunch of processes. A lot of them have to do with journaling, manifestation, law of attraction, that sort of thing. So for wouldn't it be nice if it's just a list of things that wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if I got a raise? Wouldn't it be nice if work wasn't that busy tomorrow? I get to work on some of my own projects. Wouldn't it be nice if I got a package in the mail? You know, anything. Just small little things. Wouldn't it be nice if I'm working on this stuff now because I have sort of, the last week at work, I've gotten a lot of clarity over the fact that what I'm doing right now isn't really what I want to be doing. I'm sort of trying to focus on the things that I do want to be doing, and I find that journaling really helps me clarify what those things are. Like, I always have all these ideas running inside my head, so if I can get some of them down on paper and I can figure out sort of what's important to be working on. So, I'm just going to open up Composition Notebook. Picked up this notebook. <laughs> like 99 cents. I have some other notebooks, wonderful notebooks to write in, but for now, I'm just writing in this one. 